Hi guys. All right, so I've had a few people ask me how I made my automatic fisherman. Um, I took one apart, and we're gonna measure everything up for you real quick. So I uh, got some basic lumber. I hand painted mine, so it's a little spray paint. We're looking at two 19-inch boards. A 10-inch piece of PVC bolt with a nut, an eye hook, a key ring, and the trigger. So I used a metal rod from a pants hanger. I found it's the, uh, the best kind of, thickest, thickest kind of rod metal I could find easily. So I hand bent it. This portion right here, five inches long. This portion here, seven inches long. And I've learned that I originally drilled my hole too far back. I'm about inch and a half, I think, to where, yeah, inch and a half to where I put my eye hook. So we'll put it together here quick. We've been catching walleyes on these. We've been catching crappies on these. Caught some perch. And um, hopefully some some salmon or, or browns. So I put put this together here for you. Alright, so collapses it down with the uh, bolt and uh, you're good to go right away so get this hooked up and show you guys how, uh, how sensitive it is All right, all set up. Here we go. Two little fingers. That easy. And you can set herder if you want too. Just put put more into the eye. It's awesome. So, um, so that's my setup there. And I pulled out some of my old umbrella tip ups that I made a few years ago for for pan fishing perch fishing specifically. I call them umbrella tip-ups because I uh, bought a old, uh, big umbrella and took the spines out of it and repurposed them into a tip-up. So um, got two little spools and cork for, for the uh, hook. And I'll show you guys how this works too. So you got your depth set and everything, and uh, this is this is the kind where you have to be on the ball. So when you see a, when a fish bites, it's gonna pull your flag up. There you go. Got a little nut here to, for a little bit of counterbalance and everything, and um, they work fine, fantastic. So hope it helps. See you soon.